Hey, you kids, it's Andy's gang. Boy, have I got a different kind of a story today. The name of it is the Tiger Shark. The extreme eastern border of the province of Bacor was marked by the wild shores of the Bay of Bengal. And it was to a fishing village that the Maharaja sent the two little Mahouts, Ganga and Rama. Rama. Your idea to leave the elephants in the jungle was a good one. There would be nothing for them to eat here. I... I am indeed a wise one. And also a braggart. Oh. But come, it is not far now to the Patel's house. You are Sri Poligar, headman of the village? I am the Patel. I am Ganga, sent by His Highness, the Maharaja of Bakor. His Highness? Sit down, sit down. His Highness wishes to know why it is that your people sit and starve when there are so many fish in the sea. And uh, what is this tale of a tiger shark in the Nagar Bay? Well, uh, People believe that it is the goddess Siva turned into a tiger shark to avenge the theft of the ruby from the idol in the temple. Already she has killed and eaten the thief. And you believe this? No, but uh, the high priest has made the people believe it. But hear, hear the story. Some days ago, Vishnu the thief went into the temple of Siva and stole the ruby ring from the huge finger of the idol. Then it was he got into his sampan, he started across the bay of Nadar. Suddenly, a huge tiger shark, bigger than my house, uh, attacked the boat and devoured the thief. But how do you know this? Well, many of our fishermen were on the sea and saw it. Uh, he was wearing the... Uh, huge ruby ring on, he, on his wrist, li like a bracelet. A and it was by this arm that the shark pulled him under. Never have there been shark in Nadar Bay. But such is true. That is why the people believe it is the goddess Siva turned into a tiger shark. And they will not fish. Instead, they sit at home and tend their cattle like old women. It is only that the tiger shark has wandered from its usual place of life and attracted by the shine of the ruby he attacked. Even now he has probably left Nadar Bay never to return. Oh no. Every day the people see the big one. Then we must catch him. Sri Poligar, how many men are needed to handle your sampan? Four. Good. Go you then and get one man to volunteer. That will make four of us. And tomorrow morning, we will catch this tiger shark. Volunteer? Uh, that will be hard. I will try. Good. Back to our story of the tiger shark. Now, the Maharaja of Bakor sent Ganga and Rama to a fishing village to find out why the people starved when there were so many fish in the sea. The people believed that this huge tiger shark was the goddess Siva turned into a shark. So they were frightened to fish in the bay. Knowing this to be a foolish superstition, Ganga and Rama were determined to catch this killer tiger shark. The next morning, Sri Poligar awakened the boys before daylight and gave his instruction. Oh, be sure and blacken every inch of your skin. 
For any shine from your light skin will be sure to attract the tiger shark. Oh, I will go ahead and see that Krishna keeps his end of the bargain to go with us. And hurry, for daylight will be soon upon us. And do not forget to bring the sail and the pole. The chill air of the sea makes one wish to stay in bed. I will shiver even more if the tiger shark attacks us. It is as Sri Poligar has said. The fish are deep early in the morning. And also he has arranged for two sampans to stand offshore. A lot of good that will be. If the shark attacks us, they will quickly paddle for shore and leave us to die. Quit grumbling and let us go. the small lines for bait fish now. I hope all we catch is bait fish. I have no liking to catch and see a tiger shark. I think we have another who is like an old woman and would rather tend cattle. Small one. We will not need many small ones to make bait for the big hooks. A few flying fish like this or other small ones will do. Swordfish. That with the others will be enough. Aye. We must get the bait down while the big one is in deep water. strikes. We will quickly put up the sail and drag him till he is half drowned. Maybe he will drag us till we all drown.
It is a good thing for us we have the strong wind. Also, it is good that he is so deep. We will not have to go too far before he is sick and weakened. Shark who will die. He still swims toward us, for it is not hard to pull. It is good he is not hard to pull. That means he will swim up and try to dump the sampan. That is when I will hit him with a club. Hook Rama. Pull him this way so I can strike him. until we can get a better hold. Hold hard on the gap hook, Rama, while Sri Polygar passes the rope to me. It's almost big enough to take a man in one bite and swallow him. Let us pull him into the boat.
turn him over. I may show you something of great surprise. As I thought, here is the ring of Siva. Now you may return it to the temple. And once again, the people may fish without fear of the evil tiger shark. <laughs> And so the huge ring of Siva was returned to the temple, and no longer did the people starve. You know, kids, Midnight and Squeaky are so intrigued with our stories of East India, they never seem to tire them. Well, one night I showed them a little movie of an East Indian snake charmer. Uh... Put that film on the screen, will you? <laughs> well, that's a bit of what Squeaky and Midnight saw. <laughs> So now, I want you to see what they did about it. Hey, get that little cobra. The cute little turban. Froggy the Gremlin, you'd better become visible. Oh, your magic twanger, Froggy. <laughs> hiya, kids, hiya, hiya. <laughs> you'd better be good today, because here comes Clancy the Cop. Ah, good day to you, lads and lasses. Sure, and it's a, it's a beautiful day it is. <laughs> kids, I've asked Clancy the cop to come over and give us a lesson in crime detection. Tell him why I picked you, Clancy. The reason he selected me is because I'm... Such a big boob. You're right, lad. You're absolutely right. I'm the biggest boob on the whole farce. 
no, 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 no. You better hold your tongue or you'll end up behind a chocolate bar. That's right, behind the chocolate bar, and I'll throw the key away. <laughs> what do you mean? You're trying to make a fool out of me? It's too late. It's too late? You're darn right it's too late. I was a big fool long before I met you. That's right. You bet that's right. And don't you ever forget it. Ah, 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 ah. Well, well, now, now, boys and girls, the, the most helpful thing in crime detection is the fingerprint file. Every time we arrest a crook, we fingerprint him. I simply take this little pad and press it on your nose. <laughs> That's right. Then we press the print onto the paper and stick the paper into the file. Then you... Glory be! You must look and see! It's the fingers we print, not the nose! You'd better keep your trap shut! You got me going round and round! The mulberry bush! The mulberry bush! The mulberry bush! Here we go round! The mulberry bush! Ratsy tatsy tee i -o. Here we go! What kind of a shenanigan do you put it on me? <laughs> you better take off! I'll be hitting you on the noggin with Miss Lely. You'll be hanging in the rogues gallery before you grow up. He will, he will. I'm... I, I'm, I'm sorry, boys and girls. Excuse me. Now maybe we can have a listen in peace. You see, after taking the crook's fingerprints with me, Pat, if I ever find those same prints at the scene of the crime, I know just who did it. Now don't you worry. I know every crook in this city. And you're the biggest one. You bet your life I am. And believe me, if I ever see me on the street corner, I'll see that I get life. I did it. What are you doing back here? Wait for a streetcar. Well, get out in the middle of the street. Go on down to the corner and I'll be giving you a ticket for jaywalking. You, you're not waiting for no streetcar. Now out with it! What are you waiting for? Take my picture. Well, of course I will. I'll take your picture for you. Bet your blarney stones. Take the kid's picture, too. Okay. Okay. But it'll be in the rogues gallery I'll hang you in. Okay, okay. I'll find out if you've got a record. I'll get a real close-up. Now hold real still and watch the body. Okay, okay. Squeeze the bulb. Hold still now. God, it won't it be? What's the matter? Something hit me in the face. Must be an oil leak. Ha, ha, ha. That's what it must be. <laughs> Hits me right in the eyes. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you did this to me. Yes, sir, we're pals, and pals stick together. And now, gang, don't forget church or Sunday school. And remember, Andy's gang will get together right here at this same time next week. And we'll have another exciting story and lots of other fun, too. So long, fellas and gals. <laughs> Oh!
one reason I started TVDays.com was to have a place to post my videos and the films that I've been restoring. Stomach's jumping, and I'll feel worse tomorrow. I feel robot commando. I'm a very lucky girl. I've got a tootsie roll pop. This is some of the rarest one-of-a-kind material in the country. Unless my collection is saved, preserved, and put somewhere else, no one is going to see this again. You love tootsie roll pops. Real one? No, I don't. This is terrible. The one we want is... Caught in the middle. Hey, cuz, you all rat tail sharp. How about giving us a few of them pennies? One amazing find was Caught in the Middle, uh, a color kinescope that was made by CBS in 1970. And as I'm watching it, there's Morgan Friedman. I got things breaking for me. Pretty soon I'll be able to throw some pennies your way. Nice pennies. Once it aired, it was never seen again, and nobody has a copy anymore. And I was able somehow to get one. But just transferring it and fixing the audio is one thing. I have to put touches up to a lot of the video. So when I'm playing it here, you can see how dark it is in spots. I have to then lighten it up. And now it's starting to look like something. And the man's just waiting to blow you away. And if he ever gets the chance, bye bye black boy. There's so much history there that needs to be documented correctly. And hopefully, if I can bring it to the public, that will happen. Uh, is this box number 20 or number 20? Yeah. This is ridiculous. I see it. This all has to be taken out. Uh, more 16 millimeter. This is 45 years of collecting. And now I have to figure out how to finance saving it all. That's the big question. Because there's a lot of rare, one-of-a-kind items that need to be saved. Must be small. So the key is to transfer it all now digitally. Then, start all away. And my goal one day is to walk into a building and there is everything I have in little plastic containers on a wall. Organized. George, George, stop the machine. Stop the machine. This film's so old it just breaks up in your fingers. Can't you patch it together again? Not a chance. Cellular's only good for 20 years or so, and then it gets so brilliant you can't hardly touch it. You mean that? You mean that we can't even see it? Now that we have it? There's just nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Never had the world known a more wonderful way of recording knowledge. But now it was realized that it wasn't permanent. That half a century of history was about to decay out of existence. Thank <laughs> you.